Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. Today we're doing the every room is one tile bigger challenge again, but this one is the twist that Lil Simsy put on my original challenge that I did last time. So the last version that we did of this was every room was going to be one tile bigger, so it would be like a one by one room, then a one by two room, a one by three three, or I guess a three tile room. In this one, every room is, I guess, bigger in both dimensions. So we'll go one by one, two by two, three by three, and they very quickly get very big. Uh, so I went up to eight by eight in this, uh, cause I think, I, I didn't know what to do with a nine by nine room. So that's how big I went. And then I was just trying to make everything look good and work. I saw when I was watching uh, Kayla's video that she was originally gonna do a larger room upstairs. And I liked that idea, but I don't think she ended up doing that. So I thought I'm gonna try and do that. We're gonna get the room upstairs. We'll have a bit of the house downstairs. Now, the, the kind of big problem I ran into with this house and, and doing it with these giant rooms is there's not enough small rooms to actually be that useful in terms of like for a bathroom and, and all that kind of stuff and even just bedrooms because I ended up only doing one bedroom uh, in this house and it's huge. Uh, so big <laughs> that it just doesn't make sense. And I also kind of ended up putting the living room in a smaller room. I don't know why I did that. After I'd fully furnished it, I looked back at it and I'm like, I, I didn't I didn't think about this that well, but you know, it ends up being a house, uh, whether it's a good one or not, uh, that's up for debate. But I think it came together okay. I actually spent a lot of time here on the front trying to make the, the like the front of it look good with like a balcony or, or just like any sort of porch roofing because the shape of the house is just, uh, it, it's a little rough. I mean, it actually worked out okay. I don't think it looks that bad um, in terms of the, the shape of the house on the outside. The inside gets a little rough, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll work with that when we get to it. Actually, this side bit was kind of confusing too, because I was trying to do a roof, but then I also wanted like balconies there and it didn't quite fit that well. And uh, the whole time I was building this house as well, I decided it would be a good idea to watch the movie Contagion. Now, this is completely unrelated to this build, but we were talking about it the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna watch this because, you know, the whole thing going on in the world right now. And surprisingly, it was actually pretty accurate, uh, which uh, I don't know, as scary as that may be, it was pretty accurate for a, for a movie. Uh, it was enjoyable though. I don't know if you guys have seen it um, or if you want to even see it now. It's kind of, it's a little, it's a little confronting to do like with a, you know, a global pandemic. Uh, but you know, it's more dramatic for a movie and, and you know, anyway, it was fun to watch. I was watching that while doing this. So I don't know that the, if that influenced my design at all, but uh, I, I don't know if this house looks weird, just blame that movie and my head being somewhere else. Uh, yeah, so there's a little balcony at the back there, which I thought was kind of nice at the top, although it, it doesn't serve any purpose in the end. It's just kind of there. And um, yeah, I you know what? From the front, I think this looks like a decent house. Like, I, I think this looks pretty good. I was pretty happy with this. It was kind of just when we got to the interior and the floor plan, because I'm currently kind of just avoiding that. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you can tell. We haven't even looked inside yet. I put all the rooms together and we haven't really looked at it yet. Uh, I'm trying to give it a, a nice, decent sort of uh, wallpaper and, and exterior look. I kind of went with just like white brick, and then I think I just actually did. What did I do for the siding? I think isn't it just like a gray? I think I did gray. Yeah, gray siding, white brick, and then I, I did like a dark brown slash black windows, which I thought would be a cool look, but I don't think I really pulled it together that well. Because um, I went with the dark roof, and then I was like, oh, I do like dark windows and that as well. But then I also mix it with the lighter columns and the stairs, so. I don't know. I don't know if that was a miss or or what, but it, it's it's something. And uh, you know, it's this is a building challenge. This house is never going to be that good anyway. But it is a fun one. If you haven't done this version of the challenge, it is it is fun because the rooms just get so big so quickly. Like for example, like that upstairs room. The whole upstairs is just one room. <laughs> so I don't know. It's kind of. It's interesting, and you can see, like, yeah, the layout down here, and because all the rooms are square as well, which is just not ideal or conducive to, like, furnishing nicely. Uh, I mean, it kind of works out. We have the little one-by-one one room off of one of the smaller rooms, and I, I didn't really know what I was going to use it for, because in the last house I used it as, like, a hallway, which I think worked fine, but I, it didn't really make sense in this one, because you'd have, like, a one-by-one one room that would lead just into a bigger room, so I don't know. Like, it kind of... As, as, at least for an entrance hallway it didn't make too much sense, so I kind of just put it off to the side of one room. I thought maybe I'd use it for a bathroom or something, but then I kind of forgot about it. Really, I should have... 
I, yeah, this layout was not the best. It kind of worked. After finishing all of this, I looked back and I was like, I used a lot of the small rooms, as you can see at the front of the house, but I should have used those for the bathroom and some more bedrooms. Uh, but by the time I had come to realize that, I didn't. Uh, so yeah, I just did like a little archway into this one by one room, and then I think I just put a bookcase in it. Which, I, you know, to be fair, I think actually looks pretty cool. I like it. I'm not sure if that's even usable though, because sometimes the Sims need to be fully in a room to use an item, so that might not work. But I did think that looked pretty cool, so I was quite happy with that. Um, and this room in general, I actually, I actually really like this little living room. It's like a small one, uh, and it's got like this old green couch, and I, I, I think it's a really cozy little room. Um, like I said, probably should have made one of the bigger rooms uh, the living room, because it meant that we had all these giant rooms. And it, it doesn't, yeah, it's not great because the house, like the living spaces are really big, which is great, except for this one. Like the, the kitchen area is really big, and then I do like a big rumpus area as well. But then we end up with like one bedroom. So it's kind of, it, it just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's fun. It is fun. Yeah, I think there's some good ideas in this build. Like this room here, I, re I really like all this. I think it's kind of fun. Almost feels a little bit retro in this room because of that green color and that rug as well. Kind of, and, and you know, like the, all the wood paneling. I don't know. It feels kind of kind of cozy, kind of retro. I, I like it. I do like this room. And this is what I was saying is I, I did a lot in this room to make it really nice and fun. And then when I realized I was like, oh, I probably should have done this somewhere else. It's like, well, not moving in now because I just spent a bunch of time on it. So that's, <laughs> that's this room here. But yeah, I think it worked out quite well. It's just a little, little TV room, a bookcase in the corner. You know, what more could you want? Uh, you might say you might want a bigger room. And in that case, well, yeah, me too. But you know, what what can you do? <laughs> uh, yeah, so this, I think that, that that room is good. I think that's probably the best room, which unfortunately we have started with. Uh, things do, I, I also thought like a blue staircase would be fun. I don't know. I kind of like, so here's the thing with this build and the last one when we did the every tile is one, or every room is one tile bigger challenge. I kind of just like, I knew that these houses are going to be a little wacky because of just the challenge in itself and all the room sizes. So I was like, well, let's just have a bit of fun with it. Let's put in a blue staircase because I don't know that I would normally do that anywhere else. So we might as well do it here. So we have a bit of a blue staircase. I believe I actually make the kitchen blue as well. Oh yeah, the bar. <laughs> yeah, because uh, this is where, so any of the room, <laughs> I was at that point I realized, I was like, oh, I've used all the rooms all the small rooms for other stuff. And I only had the two by two room for the bathroom, which I could have done a toilet and a shower and not a sink or maybe a sink. I don't, yeah, you can't really fit enough stuff in there. So I, I just did the shower tub combo and the toilet. And I was like, well, I guess they're gonna use the sink in the kitchen because there's no way they can. <laughs> it was just, it was bad. Okay, guys, it was bad. There's a tiny two by two bathroom in this house. It's off the kitchen. And then the bedroom is colossal for, for no reason. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I feel like this house could use a good renovation though. So this upstairs room, I decided to make, I was trying to decide if I wanted it to be the bedroom, but because it technically has to be one room, I couldn't really add a door to this room. So uh, I decided to make it like an open, like, so I opened up that floor space there, I made it a balcony. So it kind of made the room a bit smaller. I don't know, is that cheating? No, I feel like it wasn't. I wasn't sure though, but I also kind of made up the challenge. So I feel like I also can just make up the rules. Like it's still one set of walls. Like we haven't closed up the space. We've put a fence there and opened it up. So it's kind of a little bit smaller. I don't know. Anyway, I thought that was fine. Yeah, so I just turned this like upstairs area. Like it's just a big landing area, essentially. It's just a rumpus area. You do like a ping pong table and stuff up there, which is just so ridiculous. Like when you, when you think about this house, uh, you'd be like, if you walked into this house to check it out, there's this, this is the bedroom, by the way, <laughs> this giant bedroom, the world's tiniest bathroom that can't even fit a sink, a really small living room at the front. And then you have this giant bedroom, a giant kitchen and giant rumpus area. It's like, what is happening in this place? I don't know, but it, uh, it was fun. It was kind of, it was fun to do this because it is kind of just really stupid. Um, so I was trying to figure out what to do, what I could do in this room, like for wardrobes. And I was like, oh, I should use these like um, get famous like walk-in robe ones. Obviously we can't put it in its own room, but we can build our own like little walk-in <laughs> wardrobe area. So like I kind of sectioned off that bit of the room as a wardrobe. So I mean, 
If you're going to have a bedroom that big, you may as well have a lot of wardrobe space. So that's what we've done. We've opened that up, made it look good. And then the bed is around the corner. I, also, the aesthetic of this house, the interior is just like, I kind of don't know what's happening with it. It's kind of, we're trying to go a little bit, a little bit uh, more traditional style, a little bit more quaint almost. But then the living room is kind of like retro 70s-ish. Not quite, but kind of in that vibe. And then... <laughs> Then the rumpus room is almost like a little beach house kind of thing because it's got like light white floorboards and blues and and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a, just a little bit of a mix and mash. Mix, mix, yeah, sure, that that's what I said. Uh, yeah, a little mix and match is what I meant to say. Uh, it's kind of what this is, and you just got to embrace the wackiness sometimes, like we did with the last one. I think the, I think the last one turned out really well. <clears throat> I think the last one turned out really well. Excuse me, my voice never cracks. <clears throat> yeah, no, I and because we're using the the last one in the let's play, I think that worked well. I don't think I'm going to use this house in the let's play though. I don't. <laughs> this this one somehow makes less sense than the last house I did. The last one with all like the little rat warren rooms and stuff. This one makes less sense because I think the way I, I uh, furnish these rooms. I'm sure you guys can do better. I'd love to see you guys do this challenge as well. So this was the, uh, like I said earlier, little Simsy spin on the challenge that I had done. Uh, I would, I think a challenge where each room is twice the size of the last room could also be fun. It's similar to this one, but the rooms would get even, they'd get bigger even quicker. You'd be like one by one, two by two, four by four, eight by eight, and then a 16 by 16. And <laughs> that might be, that might be difficult. Maybe you could do like every room is like a different shape. So you have like a square, a rectangle, a triangle, like a, a hexagon. Can you know you can't? Oh, I guess you could do a hexagon, but it'd be irregular. I don't know. Maybe that's what we can do. Every room is a different polygon. <laughs> I don't know. Just coming up with dumb house challenges. So this is the kitchen space. And like I said earlier, I so I had that blue staircase that I put in, so I figured maybe we should, you know, tie that in somewhere else because at the moment I have that blue, but it doesn't really go, like it's just there for some reason. So I was like, okay, well, why don't we also make the kitchen blue? And then, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I was watching Contagion. I was getting really gripped by it. Uh, and I decided <laughs> this house was... This is how this house is going to go. So, I mean, look how big this kitchen is for the rest of the house. Like, yeah, the bedroom is big, but it doesn't make any sense why the kitchen's so big. I mean, I guess it probably should have also been a dining room. Because uh, I, I don't think I have a dining room in this house. We have this giant kitchen, a couple of, like, bar stools on the island there. And then that's it. Uh, and that's it. There's nowhere else to sit. Well, actually, I did do an outdoor table, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> but nowhere else. So I wanted to put this uh, stove in the middle of the wall here. So I actually ended up just, I got rid of like the, the L-shaped kitchen and just did the one section. So it, it doesn't go wall to wall, but you have the little gaps on the side, which I think is fine. It just meant that I think the stove looks better in the center of the kitchen there rather than sort of off one tile. I don't know, I think it looks a lot better. And uh, likewise, the kitchen island is a little off now, so I just had to fix that and that's good. I mean, I, to be fair, I think I actually quite like the look of the kitchen. I think it looks quite nice. It is very blue. I mean, in another house, it might actually work, you know? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really like the sink there either, though. I, w I wanted to put the sink on the island, but I would have had to add another uh, island counter, and then it would have been too big. Although, having said that, this house, <laughs> all house proportions are off anyway, so I don't know. It's fine. I, if anything, this should become a haunted house with The Sims 4 Paranormal stuff when that comes out. This place is definitely haunted. No, it's cursed. This is a cursed build, is what this is. It is... <laughs> uh, uh, I actually quite like that orange fridge with the blue. I, I think that does work. It's, you know, it's quite good if I, if I do say so myself. It's also kind of weird because... This room is so big, and we have this, like, tiny little archway right, like, squished next to the stairs. Because, I mean, there was nowhere else I could have... I couldn't put a bigger door because the stairs were there. And I couldn't move the stairs anywhere else because of the way they had to be placed for the upstairs room. So that's just kind of the way it is, isn't it? <laughs> it all falls together nice and neatly in a little package. At least I put a fridge and a bin in this house because I think... Uh, I don't know if it was the last house or a couple houses ago. I just... I think I forgot a fridge. Pulled a deli on that one. The bin thing I always forget. Although I say that, I don't remember the last time I actually forgot a bin because I did for a long time. But um, oh yeah, this upstairs space is what I was talking about. We've got a nice big ping pong table. 
Are they gonna add, I want them to, when are they gonna add pool tables back? How are they not in The Sims 4? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things that are like, how are they not in The Sims 4? But pool tables, really? That's like Sims 1 basic and Sims 2 and Sims 3. I don't know. Maybe that'll be like the last thing they add into the game. <laughs> that'd be that'd be so disappointing. It's like, hey guys, this is the last thing we're adding into The Sims 4. We know, we know it's what you've all been asking for. Pool tables. It's like, oh, no. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, I hope I didn't manifest that as the last item. It'd be nice to have them in there, but I feel like there's a lot of other things to, to add into the game. Like, I don't know if you saw uh, recently, Deligracy did a video on, uh, at least that's where I saw it, it, did a video on a new mod that adds like the color sliders that we have for the skin tones and makeup, added those to pretty much every other cast item, like hairstyles and clothing, which is amazing. And I really, I really hope they add that officially into the game. But the fact that modders were able to do that with the tech that they added for makeup is really, really cool. So if you are interested in that mod, I, I'd go say check out that. I believe it's from uh, Pancake One, I think. I, I may have forgotten. But go check out Deli's video because she explains it there and I and links it all and all that. But um, if they, I mean, they've they've now because before before they did the the makeup and skin tone update. They didn't have that tech in the game to be able to change the color of stuff. Uh, I mean, besides, I guess, the pet uh, coats and stuff you could paint. But, like, now that they have it on actual cast items, that means it does actually open the door for them to add it to other stuff, as is shown by the modders being able to do it. So, I mean, fingers crossed that they do that, because that would be huge. Like, if that was the last thing they did for Sims, they're like, okay, guys, Sim, uh, Sims 4, anyway. They're like, okay, guys, we're wrapping up uh, Sims 4. Because, you know, the next Sims game is coming, so we're not going to make any more. But hey, we've added the, the, you know, color sliders and everything to cast. And also build mode. <laughs> That'd be good. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't hold my hopes that high for build mode getting that same thing because they are different. And also it's like how Cass got uh, the unlockable color swatches and stuff, which I think is a much better way to do it rather than in build mode, like when you unlock a piece of furniture... They're all separate pieces of furniture, so you can't like eye drop or clone it. So an example of this is an eco lifestyle. All the furniture you craft are technically completely different items. They're not different swatches of the same item. So like when you go into the debug menu, there's just like 50 couches instead of just one with unlockable swatches. So they have that tech in Creative Sim of the unlockable swatches, but not in build mode. So that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Even if they add the color sliders to Creative Sim, I don't know that they'd ever do it for build mode. Um, but creators, it would be sweet if we can finally do that. If not, there's a mod, so I guess that works too. But yeah, that'd be cool. If only, if only, that's what they add to The Sims 4. And a bunch of other stuff too, but you know, that could be one of the things. <laughs> but yeah, so this is pretty much just a foyer because this room ended up kind of just being a hallway, much like the other three by three next to it. It just has doors all over it. Which, uh, like I said earlier, it really should have put those rooms to better use. Like the three by three probably could have been, you know, a bathroom would have made more sense. And the uh, the smaller living room probably could have been another bedroom. So I think there's, <laughs> there's definitely a lot better ways to approach this build challenge. I don't think this is uh, particularly my best, but you know, it's pretty funny. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. I don't know. I, I think it turned out just uh, wacky enough for it to be okay. We will, of course, jump into the game and, you know, check it all out and uh, review the challenge. But I think I might want to do uh, the Every Room is a Different <laughs> Polygon Challenge. So I guess starting with a triangle, then you'd go like a four-sided one, a square or, or a rectangle. We won't do both. Then just like more and more. Each room has more sides than the last or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. That could work. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to jump into the game. I did a little bit of landscaping and I'll, I'll show you the, fin the finished lot. Here is my beautiful... You know, I, I, I was about to say, here's my beautiful house. It looks pretty good. I You know, I actually don't think this house looks bad from the outside. I mean, it's not that special, but I think it looks decent. It looks like a nice house. It's nice and chill, you know. Nothing, nothing too special, but nothing, it, it looks like a house, you know, from the outside. And I think that's an achievement in itself. Uh, and don't worry, we do have an outdoor bin. It's just back here and a little barbecue too. You know, it's when we go inside and things kind of start going off the rails. Uh, so this three by three is just our hallway. So that's no big deal. Probably should have been, you know, maybe a, a bathroom or something. Then this, so this is the, this is the best room of the house. I, I really, I actually really like this room. I think this looks really nice. 
Uh, and I have no problems with this room at all. I think it's just where the rest of the house sort of falls in with this, that uh, we got a few problems. So yeah, there's that There's that nice room, and then, uh, then the bedroom. I mean, it, it it's pretty glamorous, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't want to put too much effort into this room just because of how stupid it was. Uh, then we just have a foyer in here, which is kind of a nothing. Then we have a kitchen. The kitchen is good. I actually, I think this turned out quite nicely, to be fair. I quite like the kitchen. The bathroom, uh, <laughs> not so much. Uh, we've got a, a tub and a shower and a, a toilet, and then you've got to use the kitchen sink. Uh, that's fine. Um, there's our one by one, is that bookcase there. Then upstairs we have the rumpus room, which again, I think this is actually fine. I think in a house that, you know, had more suitable rooms, this would be fine, it would make sense. But uh, this is, <laughs> this is my attempt at this challenge. Uh, not the best, but uh, the outside looks pretty good and I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this build challenge. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to do it as well, uh, go ahead. It's kind of wacky. I'm sure you could probably build something a little bit more cohesive than I did. Uh, and like I said, I think I might try the every room as a different polygon challenge. I'm not sure if it'll be regular polygons or irregular poly polygons. Although we could only do those regular like triangles squares and octagons because we can't do any other angle than that that may be irregular i don't know every room is a different shape i don't know other silly challenges like that it'll be fun but thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time and have an awesome day